Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 107 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. It seems like Fia is just waking up and wondering what the hell she is. Oh, I got bad news for you. Bad news all dressed in black, in fact. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so are you awake? How are you feeling? So, now that Fia's awake and aware of her surroundings, she attempts to move and it doesn't really work. <laughs> Okay, so she says his name and says, Oh, hey, why is it I'm made so I can't move? Hey. Oh, you see, that is because starting now we're going to be sealing Fia. And if you resist, it would be a bother. So her hands and feet have been bound up somehow and she's getting a grip on that and now that she knows gets what Gaidal's saying to her the confusion sets in and she starts thinking so She's going to be sealed into something. Don't tell her. Like she, when she was in the castle, inside of those magic stones. <laughs> oh, she's so stupid. Just because she was thinking she might get her memories back, she went and did something without consulting anyone. Well, yes. So she's all blaming herself. So, Gaidal, looking at this little goddess who's blaming herself, has one of those grins of his. <laughs> Well, Fia doesn't need to worry about it. Pretty soon, right away here, that uneasiness will go away. Because when she's put into these magic stones, her consciousness will be put to sleep, and she won't need to worry about her past or whatnot. So, she tells him that it's no use putting her inside of a seal like that. She's already formed a contract with Avaro. So the one connected to the, the castle is Avaro. Bam! Suck it. So this is her desperate attempt to logic him out of things. And furthermore, she is absolutely not going to form a contract with Gaidal. <laughs> well, well, you don't need to worry about that. It seems like Gaidal has some kind of thing that doesn't matter whether Fia wills it or not. So, Gaidal has a method of overriding that contract. It's a bit troublesome, but for that purpose he prepared this place. 
君とアバロ君のつながりは消える君は私のものになるんだ So once the ritual has gone off without a hitch The connection between a f i a and a v a r o will be erased And then f i a will belong to Gaidal Oh man Well, you won't be allowed to do that. By whom? So, Avaro and everybody are going to come and rescue her right away. And when that time comes, it's the end for you. Yuck, yuck. And until everybody comes for her, Fia is going to be resisting to her utmost. So, see if Fia, seeing Fia being like this, Avaro claps his hands once. Yeah, nah. Uh, truly a splendid, pointless struggle. So once it's gotten to this point, her will has nothing to do with it. What g a i d a l needs now is just a bit of time. Her will will only be able to slightly postpone his magic power, essentially raping her mind. So, the ritual has already started. Can you feel it? The magic power, bit by bit. Is eating into you. And yeah, she can feel it. Within her body, there's this poison like magic being poured into her. Sate, Kimi ga yu tori. Avaro kun ga o t e k i t e iru yo da. Mani yu ka do ka tanoshimi da ne. And it seems, as Fia said, Avaro is headed here as we speak. g a i d a l s looking forward to seeing if he makes it in time. <laughs> so, he wants to show Avaro. Show of our own that moment when Fia becomes a doll without a will for him. God, how evil! <laughs> well, right away the ritual is going to be complete. So, this is apparently a secret technique that makes a god into、uh, his possession, however you want to say that. And then he is going to close it into the weapon. And, well, that would be the castle, right? Hmm. <laughs> How torturous. Oh, is it painful? But it's alright, it will be fine soon. Once Gaidal's power has done its work, Fia won't feel anything. So, 
世界へと還元してくれたまえ OK to win our freedom now Fia will turn back upon the world that power that she has stolen out of humankind under the pretense of faith that was quite a lot I even took the time to write it down for you Fia all right, win, defeat Gaidal. And you only have 25 turns, otherwise, pretty much a normal map. Oh man, I don't have my really good tank available for this battle. Well, he has a particular weakness that Gaidal could take advantage of anyway. Hmm. Actually, maybe deploying an angel isn't a good idea under the circumstances. Oh, whom shall I fight with? A suspicious thick bamboo. What the hell is that? Oh, free moves. Do you have a earth weapon? Yes, you do. But you're already level 31, so... Mercy armlet. I don't have many level 30 characters to deploy. Yeah. Oh. Why not? No. Oh, she's already been deployed and I can't deploy her from her right now. Oh well. I'll fix that next turn. Hmm. She did a surprising amount of damage to heal. Alright, first priority. Let's see if she gets a level up. You know, I'm really torn between capturing these enemies and getting level ups with the model and ring a kip. <laughs> but let's deploy you and I. They're not the most useful characters because their damage, their attacks don't do much damage to these enemies. In fact, in many cases, they won't do any damage at all. Ah, uh, take backs. Let's put on your holy sword. The earth sword would probably be good enough, but. Well, why hold back? Well, other than the fact that she's wearing a ring that is literally the holding back ring. Hmm. Well, let's put on the ring. Armlet. Oh. Oh, what are you doing with it? Good thing I decided to move Mich Michuana before Avaro. Well. Ooh, nice. I'm so glad I did that. Attack, defense, magic attack, and speed. Curious. Come to think of it, in my trial run, I didn't even bother to find all the mining points. 
Ah, interesting. Hell, why not? These guys probably won't be any big danger. I should have equipped him with a capture rope, though. Okay, now that Michuan is level 31, I think I'll forget about level ups for the moment. And stick to capturing. And you... Oh, already got the holy one. Capture rope. You know, a fun thing you could do is block this particular hallway with you and I, and the enemies actually would just stand there behind them. If you have enemies that are... Uh, if you have allies with good ranged attacks, that would be a good way of stonewalling them. Uh, let's see. That's a lot of damage, but not quite enough. Ah, oh, eel. She isn't quite close enough. Uh, not gonna work. Hmm, oh well. Let's have Mikshuana come in and deal a hit. And then she'll retreat back to safety and if she's too much injured. I can always heal. Oh! These things have an angel killer on them. Yeah, they are especially dangerous to her. Hmm. Yep. Somebody's in range, let's go attack her. She needs more haste points. But not in regard to this. Oh man. Let's see how ugly these suckers are. Uh, pretty much normal. Other than, uh, Whatever kind of head that is. What kind of an animal has a head like that? I mean, I can see the goat horns and everything, but what are all the rest of the spikes for? Uh. Actually, moving Mixuana in for a kill here would be a very bad idea. Do you have Angel Killer? No, you don't. Chew all an Angel Lance. Hmm. I think this is an opportunity to get a capture with double drops. No, oh, already has it. So, shield. I wish I had more of these Suima shields. Seriously. Oh, how nice. Uh, magic defense. That's good, I guess. All right, Deal is a better tank than Rosaline, although that's not saying much. Is that everybody? All right then. Ah, blah, you're ugly. Oh no, there goes the red feather. Oh, 
行動開始だ。もっと強くなる。Oh. Uh, defense speed. Magic attack of all things. Okay, 23 times 2. Not good enough. Alright. s o p p i n this greater demon up for us, would you? You're too kind. Oh, wait. Capture him for us. Okay. Demon's Claw. I think Ryo's lane has officially end come to an end of her usefulness at this point. Well, not a complete end, but. Alright, l l Time to go back to capturing. Hmm. Hey, she got a point of luck. That's always good news. You know, one of my healers is Fia, and another one is Ranrin Yuiki. Meaning, I've only got my backup backup healer available at the moment. Although she has great range on that. Oh, yeah, this. Hey! An elemental attack. Well, sure, as long as it wastes his. Spell points. Yeah, that revival skill. Kodo Kaisha. All right, these goons are done. They might revive. But we'll still kill them. Mmm, that's right. Let's take a moment to talk about what Gaidal has going for him. First, you can see on the map he has hit point traps all around him. Meaning, every turn you're next to him, you'll take 10 damage. You people are impossible! Okay, and if you do me melee attacks against him. You'll move into a square to do the melee attack and then retreat back into the trap again, making you take 20 damage every turn. As for his actual attack, it's not so great. I mean, he's got pretty good physical attack just to make him less of a pushover. But his abilities are something interesting. This ceiling ability, in particular. As long as he's got this, and well, it's always on. You can't hit him with any special attacks. So you've got your attack, and that is it. There's no range rule. There are no spells you can use. There are no special bonuses to your melee attack. It's just bog standard melee attack, or for those characters that have a base ranged attack, like Fia with her bow and. Beat him with his crossbow. They can use those, but they can't use their special skills. That's kind of annoying, but I'm going to show you something really super cheap to do against him. Another one is his area of effect attack. This has a ton of range. He can't use it right next to him. But let's see. One, two, three, four, five. He can cast it on this square, this square, this square, or one of those two. And it makes a square of, well, a circle. A pretty big circle. If it were this one in particular, it would reach from this guy to this guy, and from there to there. And it's pretty powerful. So I don't want to put, say, Mikshuana in range of it. But my ghosts are just fine. Anyway. 
Keep moving in. Hmm. We double the roughs. Ha. Uh. Let's see, that'll do fatigue damage. Don't care. It's better than letting this skeleton walk up to Rosaline. Although I guess I've already established that those skeletons aren't much of a threat to her. Oh god, this is going to get ugly. Those guys and their stinking revival skill. Hmm, now what should I do with Eel? How should I kill that giant? By this point, it's probably... Oh, crap. So, it appears we're a bit late getting here. The goddess is already in his possession. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try this again with heal fully healed. Actually, no, you know what? Forget about that. I'm going to move her over here. No, not there either. That is such a frustrating move, I'll tell you. I'll move her here. Alright, I'm still going to use it, but... Eel won't be worn down from three separate attacks. Uh, Gadol, you were supposed to use it. Uh. Some of the crap he does is like it's just simply to frustrate me. Well, a lot of enemies do that. Oh, how about that? Holy shards. Not enough yet. There we go. Shut up. Oops. There we go. You may have noticed that you actually absorbed all that damage. He was at 30, now he's at 72. Pretty awesome, right? Oh, this bastard also absorbed it. But anyway, Eel took a modest amount of damage. Hmm. Ha! 
that's good news after a fashion. Hmm. How am I? Oh, it took some damage from that attack of guy dolls. As did Eel, of course, but we can heal her up and see how she does against that giant. Uh, no, that's not the attack you need to be using. You need to walk over here so I can smash you. So inconsiderate, these guys. All right, everybody, charge. With the exception of Mixer. Anna, of course. In place of Mixer, Anna, let's deploy detail. Ah. What's this guy weak against? Earth, just slightly. What you got? Perfect. Oh, he can totally use the capture attack with an earth attack at this range. Sounds good. Let's do it. And, uh... Everybody who doesn't want to get smacked by a really angry giant, back the hell up. No, oh, I already moved Avaro. Well, he's got enough hit points. Maybe. Probably. Please don't die. Well. That was better than I expected. Now the good news about the giant being there is Deathelm can still attack him without suffering from its range of three counterattack. And probably we can fell him this time. Fine, be that way. I didn't want to capture you anyway. Except I totally do. Now I need to wor start worrying about another shot from that ranged attack. But my characters are mostly full at this point. And these bastards, if I hit them, I'm going to take a hit from the traps. Or maybe they'll force me back and Navarro takes fatigue damage. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of funny actually. Oh yeah, ranged attacks. Those girls are nothing special, really. That was a disappointment. Oh, and Avaro spent too much time on that fatigue trap and can't move anymore. Yeah, you better not do that on HP traps. You'll end up in one with one hit point in no time. Anyway, we want him moving, so... Hmm, that was interesting. You can see it says it restores 30, but this one restored 32. 
There must be something in the castle that lets me get away with that. Alright, Avaro, I think that's enough for your contribution. Hmm. I happen to know that there is a mining point somewhere. Like I said, I didn't find it in my trial run. Okay. It's time to move in for the kill, guys. By which I mean I'm going to take another 10 or 12 turns doing this. But I'm moving in the direction of the kill. So that's good enough, right? Oh, this is new. That's a gold medal. I've gotten a lot of silver medals, but apparently that's my first gold one. You know, I don't think I've ever seen what these girls look like. Um... <laughs> hey, that's the ice bow that Fia uses. Or can use. I don't know if I actually use it with her. Ha! There aren't a lot of people who can actually take Guy Doll's attacks. Oh. You know, that, that wasn't what I was expecting him to look like. Alright, Avaro. Thanks for your help, and... You may leave now. Next, take backs. Capture, double drops. Yeah, right. Oh. Another interesting, interesting thing about Gaidal. His closer ranged attacks. He's got two of them. Range of three. One's lightning and one's darkness. One of them being lightning actually makes our usual tank. What's his face? Connor. Actually, pretty useless to use. There go. Okay. How did he do that much damage to? Hmm, it must have been a critical hit. Well. She's already moved, so all I can do is heal her up. Oh, fine. Do something completely different. You know, I was expecting him to look more... Um, I was expecting him to look more imposing here. But that's a funny thing that his staff does. Has it got some kind of mouth? Okay, level up. Not very good. She didn't get magic attack. But magic defense, I guess, will do. I tell you, she's going to be using a lot of magic defense in that room. What are you thinking, Detail? That was an HP trap. Hmm. 
Ai has used all of her spell points somewhere. Yeah, well, whatever. This is pretty much in the bag at this point. This lightning attack. Oh no, this is the darkness attack, isn't it? Anyway, as long as we keep Eel's hit points up, everything's fine. Detail, you're still standing on that HP trap. What are you thinking? Are you some kind of idiot? Oh. Hmm, maybe Detail is onto something. Hey, attack. You see, this is the, basically the only way you can get at Gaidal without having to deal with counterattacks. Or that area of effect attack. In fact, Gaidal could use it right behind Detelm, and in a couple turns it would kill him. Oh, healing. You know what? Oh. Fine, whatever. Still. Healing. Hmm. Huh? Mithril medium armor. Here it is! I found it. This is the mining point. Now I wonder what I'm gonna get from it. He gets a lot of critical hits. Hey, how nice. So you know, if you do want to tank Gaidao with melee attacks, your best attacker and tanker is actually still Eel. Oh, I'm not killing him too fast, am I? I want to grab all these treasures first. And of course, capture the guys that come out of the vortexes. Vor vortis vortices? Is that the proper way to pluralize it? Oh, Amasia. Um, thanks for everything, you. Oh no. I forgot to heal her. Uh, dodge like your life depends on a heal. That was not successful. <sighs> she should be dodging at least a third of the time. I don't think I've seen her dodge yet this whole battle. You know what, I'm sick of this. I'm going to check her. Hmm, well. This will get a bit more dodge. I want to keep this one on because it adds a bit to her darkness resistance, which is useful. Hey! Magic defense. That'll help. Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, there's another one of those silver medals I said I keep getting. Ha! What do Rosaline's attack animations look like? <laughs> what is that doll, anyway? 
It's a rabbit in a vest, I can tell, yeah, but... Why does she even have one of those? Oh, Deathelm, 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 are you still standing out of that HP trap? Some kind of book. I bet it's a darkness book. And Mikael, you won't be able to equip it. Not that. Hmm. Curious. Yeah, I'll find it some other time. Oh, oops. But he'll finally dodge something. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, man, Detail, you're down to one life. That really sucks for you. Well, it would suck for pretty much anyone. Hmm. Killing guy doll with nothing but cheap shots. Suisei Seki? I can't believe those guys dropped those. Alright, D tell me you're free to kill. Fire at will. Hmm, actually, whom do I want to kill him? Yeah, screw it. He's as good as anyone. Well, he's not as good as other characters I like more, but he'll do. Double drops. Magic defense. He needs that, actually. Let's see what he drops. A reflect mirror. Well, two reflect mirrors. Didn't he drop that the first time he beat him up? Rip off. Hmm. Nothing special here. Oh boy. I can tell this is going to be a long one. So I'm saving and quitting out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.